So, what are annotation standards? Title, Labels, Dimensions, Callouts, Notes. So, kung wala kang mga abbreviation notes, labels, and dimension, so, hindi mo ma-execute na properly dun sa site or field. Kaya napaka-importante yung titles, labels, notes, dimensions, and callouts. Nagawa na tayo ng plano so meron tayong mga annotation standard. Yung text font title natin is ginagamitan natin ng book ang tekwa font. Yung height niya is 250 to 300 and then scale yung width factor niya is 0.8 so ang ginamit ko dito sa mga axis or sa mga grid lines text font is Swiss 721 LT BT so yung height nito is 300 and then din sa mga notes and dimension font yung ginamit ko dito is romance is yung text height niya is 250 then width factor is 0.8 ganun din sa dimension text font then sa mga call outs text font ay ginamitan ko ng Swiss 721CNBT yung height niya is 250 and then ito yung notes ginamitan ko siya ng Roman.SHX so ang ratio ng text font kung meron kang uh, scale 1 is to 1 text height mo is 2.5 so, kung mayroong kang scale, 1 is to 100 yung drawing mo, dapat yung scale ng mga notes mo is 250. So, 2.5 times 100. So, equals 250. So, yun yung ratio ng mga text font. So, that's it. First, we create a textile. So first, click this icon. And then click new. And click this open with no template metric. And now let's create a textile so type is T and then enter then si AutoCAD meron na siyang default annotated standard so in this panel makikita natin yung font name font style so let's create new style name scale 1 is to 100 we select the font name so let's for example o type R so mostly ginagamit ko itong sa mga dimensions notes and labels so ito yung ginagamit ko yung romance that SHX leave this height so we create later in the dimension so set current and then yes and then close so type T or M text M text 
specify first corner so click and then click sideward then click then type what are annotation then click sa labas so now meron na tayong text style how to how to set up dimension style so this text font so anytime if you want to change this text height it will be so for example i will change this i will change this annotation so type mo let's for example 100 and then as you can see the text height will be changed into 100 so now let's proceed to dimension style so dimension style type D in your keyboard and then press enter so dimension style manager have to default already annotative and ISO does 25 so ang gagamitin natin is ISO das 25 so click lang natin ikakapi lang natin so let's create a new and then i-rename lang natin so new style name let's for example scale 1 is to 100 and then leave us this annotative and then click continue and then now this new dimension style the name is scale 1 is to 100 and then let us let us set up this line first so color of line is red line type by layer line weight by layer and then base spacing let us make 50 and then extension lines color so let's click red line type extension line by layer line type extension line 2 by layer and then line weight is let us make 0 and then leave us this suppress extension line so leave us this 2 and then extend B1 dimension line so let us 50 and then offset from origin 50 and then leave us uncheck this fixed length extension line so so let us go go to the symbol and arrows so let's click this symbol and arrows and then arrow heads first second so most this all is standard use so all of this is standard use 
but I will choose this architect architectural tech and then leather as s so leave us no change then arrow size let's for example um 80 then leave us this center marks 2.5 brick size 3.7 so leave us so now let's go to to so now let's click this text so as you can see in text appearance we have textile option text color and fill color and text height so textile so we, we can click this icon so click this icon beside in the standard and here we can select this so select this scale 1 is to 100 as we make if you like to change the text font so we can create anytime a new and then this width factor I want to change this 0.8 and then let us set current and close and then so here we can change here so we can change this text height over here let's for example 100 and then so text placement we have uh, option here vertical horizontal view direction and offset from origin so let us i can select this above so mas gusto ko yung 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 text is above sa dimension line and then horizontal uh, let's make center and view direction left to right and then offset from dimension line so I make 50 so mas gusto kong naka offset siya sa sa dimension line so ayaw ko masyadong madikit and then text alignment we have horizontal alignment and ISO standard so let's let's choose this alignment with dimension line next fit click this fit and then choose this check this always keep text between extension line and then text placement choose this over dimension line with leather the next primary unit primary units we have linear dimensions unit format so unit format so i will choose this decimal precision i will choose this zero or you can choose this 0, 0.0 so I will choose this 0 dahil naka mm naman tayo or naka millimeter then prefix leave us suffix leave us so scale factor so the scale of 1 is to 100 the factor is 1 so now that's it we are finished the color of text screen and then fill color none then click click ok and then set current and then close so now let us try we create a line with distance 1000 so type L in your keyboard and press enter then click this first point and then type the distance value 
1000 and then press enter and then escape to end the command so now let us take a dimension it is correct or not click this annotation so click this small icon and then as you can see in the dimension panel there's a lot of options so we choose this linear click and then click this first point and to the second point click and then move little bit upward so now as you can see the dimension scale is correct so hanggang dito na lang ang video na ito at kung ikaw ay bago pa lang sa aking youtube channel please i-like na rin ang video na ito at i-click na rin ang notification bell para mas updated ka pa sa mga susunod kong practice uploads Thank you.